and welcome everybody. My name is Tony, and we have an hour for yoga today. And this is from the Everyday Counts program, so you could check that out if you wanted to. A great program here in North Vancouver. So today's practice is um, balancing movement, and then at the end, we're going to have some restorative. So I have two yoga bolsters a blanket and two yoga blocks. Um, anything can be substituted for these, rolled blankets, rolled pillows, I'm sorry, rolled pillows, rolled towels, pillows, cushions, anything at all. Um, the blocks can be substituted with anything that's handy, like um, books, and of course, any kind of blankets you want. And that's gonna be for the second half of class. So I'm gonna put these off to the side and we'll get movement, uh, we'll get going with our movement. As always, if anything doesn't feel right to you, then no need to do it. If your body is asking you to um, come up with another movement that simply feels better for you, go ahead and always adjust and adapt anything that I'm offering you uh, to feel better for you. There's no right and wrong here. This is your practice working with your body as it feels today. So coming to a comfortable place, whatever that means for you, and it doesn't have to look like a certain thing, you can always, always start on a chair if that's preferable for you. But wherever we are, we're gonna root down into that support underneath us. And once you come to a place where you feel like you can stay for a little bit as we get into the breath, you're welcome to soften your gaze or close your eyes if that's comfortable. And we'll take a big breath in. And exhale it out slow and soft. Another couple of breaths just like that. Allowing yourself to settle into this moment, tuning out the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. Let the breath come back to a natural easy rhythm that feels comfortable for you. Notice that support underneath your body. And imagine pushing down into that support to get just a little length through your spine. You can even take your fingertips to the chair or the floor and lift up from there if that um, feels good in your body. And notice how you're feeling today. Notice the energy levels that you have. Notice how your body feels, and if there are parts of your body that you need to be careful of today, treating with tender hands. And notice how your breath feels. Smooth and steady. Starting to take a slightly deeper breaths in, slightly longer breaths out. Regulating the breath. You can even count how long your inhale takes, count how long your exhale takes. No right or wrong with the number, we all breathe and count differently. And we smooth that breath out for the whole inhale count to the top of the inhale and the entire exhale count all the way down to the bottom, starting to steady the breath. Mindful breaths in and out. And then let go of any efforting so those steady breaths become easeful. And those are the breaths we'll keep for today. And then when you're ready, starting to circle through the shoulders, both shoulders in one direction. With the breath, 
So those steady, easeful breaths in and out, those same counts in and out. And then we'll take that round in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Last one here. And then when you're ready, we're just going to take our gaze from side to side. And then up and down. Coming back to center. Taking your hands in front of you, clasping your fingers together and sending those fingers, uh, the palms away from you and up to the ceiling. Elbows bent will ease through the shoulders or you can send those palms all the way up. Drawing the front ribs in and lifting up from there. Rooting down to rise and just taking that from side to side. Mm -hmm. And then turning to one side and turning to the other. Again, elbows bent or a little longer, your choice. And then we'll float those hands all the way down. Interlace the hands once again, opposite first finger and thumb on top. Sending the knuckles away from you, rounding through the shoulders and drawing the belly in towards the spine and rounding the back body. Breathing right into the back ribs. Another two breaths here. Chin in towards the chest. Tucking the tail. Last breath, staying for the exhale. And inhaling, coming back to center. And from here, we'll come over onto hands and knees. You can take a blanket underneath your knees. Any support you might need, please go ahead. Double over your mat. Anything at all here. Allowing that foundation to be as wide as you need. Belly draws in. Push into the hands so the back of the heart lifts and the gaze is in front of the mat. Toes tucked or untucked, your choice. Then on the exhale, we're going to lift the back of the ribs towards the sky. Gaze can come towards the belly button or towards the legs. On the inhale, dropping the belly, lifting up through the heart. Inhaling and exhaling, cat and cow. And you can always take seated cat and cow if that feels better for you. Inhaling and exhaling in your own way. Mm -hmm. Working with the breath. You can continue here or coming back to neutral after your next exhale. In a circle round here. So shoulders come forward, hips come back. You're always welcome to come down onto forearms if this feels better for you. Round in one direction. You can make those movements as big or as small as you like, noticing how it feels, especially in the hips. We'll take that round in the opposite direction. Steady breath, same count in, same count out. And then we'll come all the way back to center when you're ready. For stability, maybe bringing the knees in towards each other a little bit, stepping the right leg back, toes to the floor. Inhaling and exhaling, forward and back. And you can adjust underneath that left knee to support yourself so you feel comfortable. Always forearms are an option. 
And then from here, we're gonna kickstart that left leg out behind us somewhat. And then take the right toes towards the right side of the room. So we're starting to open up to the right. Option to stay here. Option to pop up onto those right fingertips. And then the next option here is to open up through the collarbones, taking the right hand up towards the sky, pushing into the supporting hand, widening through the front body, and lifting through the fingertips. Gaze can come up towards the right thumb. And we're steady and smooth here with the breath. Option to stay here. Option to hop at the right foot. Now you can tap up and down with it if you like, or keep it hovered. No higher than hip height, and we're opening everything up to the right side. Steady breath. Last option is to take the right hand over the right ear so we're getting length. Toes to the floor. You can get a nice arch through there, or foot lifted, your choice. And we're breathing, front ribs drawn in here. Last option. And then from here, the toes come down, taking everything down towards the earth. And we're bringing the right knee in. From here, Left leg comes out behind us, toes to the floor, forward and back. Option to stay here. You can come down onto forearms at any time. Just going to turn around so I can see you guys. Option to stay here or come back to stillness. Right foot comes out behind us in a kickstand. Left toes towards the left side of the mat and we're coming up onto the left fingertips. Option to stay here. Steady breath, same count. Or option to lift the left fingertips up towards the ceiling. Push into the supportive hand. Find that length all the way through the collarbones into the fingertips. And we're breathing. Option to stay here. Option to tap up and tap down with the back leg. Option to stay. Breath is easy. And the last option here is to take the left hand overhead and reaching. So we've got that left leg long all the way through the left side of the body, all the way through the fingertips, through the crown of the head, and the front ribs are drawn in. Steady breath. Same count of breath, in and out. Staying for one last breath here. And then the left toes come down, left fingertips. And we're coming all the way back to face our mat, cat and cow. From here. Taking the right foot round and forward. Give it a little help with your hand if you need it. And again, any padding you need under the left knee, go ahead. And then from here, hands up onto the right thigh, and up we come. And you can adjust that right leg out towards the side or closer inwards, depending on how you feel. Making sure the hips feel even here so one hip is not hiked up, hands to the waist, great place to stay. You can take the hands to the thighs if that feels more stable for you. And we're fixing our gaze about somewhere about eye height in front of you, something that is not moving. And then the option to pulse forward and back here. Again, you're welcome to double over your mat here or take a blanket under that left knee. Then we're coming to a central place. Playing with the pelvic tilt here and coming to a place that it feels kind of even between um, the tailbone out behind you and a tuck tail. So it's almost as if the tailbone is rooting down towards that left knee. Option to stay here. Option 
to take the left hand all the way up and behind the head. Elbow is raised here. Great place to stay here, opening up through the elbow and lifting up from there. Next option is to take the right hand to the left elbow, and this will simply depend on the length of your bones. If your forearms are um, not as long as the crown of your head, then it's not going to work. Take the fingertips over to that left elbow, and we lift up and over. Sending the left fingertips closer towards the shoulder blades doesn't mean they'll ever get there and we get this whole length from the left knee up through the elbow. Inhaling and exhaling. A couple of breaths here making sure that the chin is drawn in somewhat. Wide collarbones and then we're coming all the way up. Releasing the hands back to hips, thigh, taking the hands down to the inside of that right leg and the right leg comes round and back. Left leg coming forward, patting the right knee as much as you need to. And then you can heel toe, play around with the left leg there, making sure you have the foundation you need Hands up onto the left thigh and up we come. Inhaling and exhaling, we can come forward and back. Notice what feels comfortable for you here. And then we'll come to center. Fixing your gaze somewhere at eye height that's not moving. And then from here, noticing if there's a hip hiked up, hands to hips. You can kind of tell usually which hip is hiked up, neutralizing that as best as you can. Stay here or again, hands to the thighs. Option to take that right hand up behind the skull, lifting up through the elbow and the skull is coming back into the palm of the hand. Great place to stay, finding length through the right side. Option, depending again on the length of your bones, you can take the right Elbow with the left hand, right fingertips slide towards the spine, down towards the shoulder blades, and we're drawing up, and option to come over. Finding that length, that curve on the right side, we're breathing, taking the chin in a little, maybe the elbow or elbows come back somewhat, and you're breathing. Steady and smooth. Releasing when you're ready. Hands to hips, hands to thigh. Hands come down to the inside of the left leg and that left leg comes round and back. Cat and cow here. Maybe some barrel rolls through the ribs and back in the opposite direction. And coming back into child's pose. So, big toes towards each other. You might need to take a pillow or a blanket underneath your seat and hips if that's more comfortable for you. Or taking the seat back to the heels. Supported child's pose with hands, forearms, stacked fists, stacked palms. A block underneath your head. Playing with how wide you want your knees here. Maybe stay in stillness or rock the hips from side to side, depending on what your joints feel is safe and comfortable for you. And then the option is to send those fingers out in front of you, lifting up from the forearms because you're on tented fingers. Sending those fingers to one side of the mat, drawing the opposite hip back, breathing into that side that we just opened up in our low lunge. And then taking the fingers all the way to the other side, opposite hip draws back, breathing into that side. And when you're ready, coming back to center, last couple of breaths here in movement or in stillness. 
And when you're ready, we'll come up to standing through child's pose, through up to hands and knees, tuck the toes, walk the hands back, and we're coming all the way up. Taking your time, settling yourself into mountain pose, palms towards me, feet at a comfortable distance. Very much like when we were seated, we're rooting down as if we're kind of standing in sand and we could dig down a little deeper. And then we're lifting from there through the spine. So we're getting this duality, this rooting to rise up from there. Sweeping the palms up on the inhale, down on the exhale. Easy movements with your breath. Up as high as you like, those fingertips can touch at the top if that's comfortable for you. I know my palms are out of shot, I think. Nice. Last one here. Reaching and coming down. Coming into tree pose, balance pose. So keeping the feet towards each other here. Once again, fixing your gaze somewhere at eye height is going to help with balance. Rooting down through both feet, spreading the toes nice and wide to get that um, width in our foundation. Root through the left foot, lift the right heel. And this already right here can be challenging. If you need a wall or a countertop or a chair handy on that left side, please take it. From here, rooting into that left foot, rooting to rise once more. Keeping the hips facing forward, option to take that right knee out towards the side, any amount that we don't take the hips along with it. Option to stay here. Option, heel over the top of the left leg. Again, hips facing forward. Option to take the toes to the floor and the sole of the right foot to the inner left ankle. You can tap up and down from shin, inner shin, to the floor, or keep that right foot into the left shin, left shin pushes back into the right foot, and we've got a connection there, rooting to rise. Option to take that right leg into the top of the left leg, any point, but just not on the knee joint. Hands to the hips. Again, even out the hips, if one's kind of hiking up, Hands can come into towards heart center. Roll the shoulders back and down, lift through the elbows. That will help with balance if you push the heels of the hands towards each other. We've got this connection to the midline of the body. From here, option to grow your tree. First finger and thumbs towards each other. You can take the palms towards each other or lifting up towards the ceiling, your choice. Rooting to rise. You've got three breaths wherever you are. And if you fall out, no big deal. Just come back into center and realign. Last breath. Hands to hips. Releasing the right leg. And any softness you need in that left leg, go ahead before we come to the other side. Feet in towards each other. A wall, a countertop, the top of a chair. It's great to make sure that you feel more stable here. Spread the toes nice and wide. Root down through the right foot. Fix your gaze, steady the breath. The same count of breath. From here, lifting the left heel. Great place to stay right here. It's already challenging because we're on a narrow stance and we have only uh, the ball of the left foot. Keeping the hips facing forward like headlights, option to take the left knee towards the side. Option to take the heel over the top of the right foot and connect down, rooting to rise. Option to take the toes to the floor, 
and the sole of the left foot up through the right ankle. Ankle into heel, heel into ankle. So you've got that connection through the middle line of the body once again. Option to tap up and down from the inner shin. Option to take that foot to the inner thigh. Just not the knee joint. Notice what's happening in the hips. Steady breath. Option to take the hands in towards heart center, roll the shoulders back and down, lift the elbows. Steady breath. Option to stay here or take the expression of your full tree, whatever that means to you. Right leg is pushing into the left wherever you are and the breath is the same count in and out. If you fall out, no big deal, come back. One more breath. And on that exhale, hands come to the hips, and then we release that leg. And again, any softness you need to offer yourself, go ahead and do that. Big breath in, exhale out. Nice. And then from here, we're gonna take those feet a little wider. Toes turn out. Rooting to rise. This is the inhale and the exhale. Just gonna bend those knees out towards the side. Now take a little look here and notice if your knees are at a different angle than your toes, then adjust everything so the knees are in line with your toes. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. And we're not trying to get as far down as possible, but we want the movement to be as easeful as we can make it. So steady and smooth. Mimic the breath. So the inhale, we're pushing into the feet to lift us up. And on that exhale, we're taking it down. Nice. Option to add the arms. On the inhale, lifting up. On the exhale, cactusing the arms, drawing the shoulder blades back towards each other. Elbows go wide, but the front ribs are drawn in. Inhaling, we're reaching. Exhaling, sinking. Mm -hmm. Slow movement. Noticing if you're hanging out at the bottom or you're hanging out at the top for a long time and keep the movement as steady as possible. Inhaling and exhaling. You've got another three. Last one here. And we're coming all the way up. Hands come to the hips. Nicely done. Well, I've got through my legs here. So from here, coming into triangles. So we're going to take those right toes out towards the side. And the left toes turn in about 10 or 15 degrees. And you might need to adjust your stance here depending on what feels comfortable for you. Rooting to rise. Hands to the hips. We're rolling that left shoulder back. So we're turned towards the side. So we've got external rotation here because the toes are facing forward. So external rotation. But because the left toes are turned in somewhat, we've got a little bit of internal rotation here. And that's going to help us. This is the inhale. On the exhale, we're sending the left hip back. Right hip back to inhaling and exhaling. And as you do this, you might notice that you need to change up your foundation somewhat narrow, longer, wider. Mm -hmm. But the heart is open towards the right side of the mat. Nice. Option to stay here. Option, next time we come down to stay, that front knee can be bent somewhat if that feels more comfortable for you. Right hand on the knee or the shin, just not the knee joint. 
open out through the left shoulder, great place to stay. Our ribs like to pop out here, consider drawing the front ribs in, excellent place to stay right here, pushing down through both feet. Option to lift up through the left arm towards the sky, very much kind of like we did when we were down on our knees. Lifting up, gaze towards that left shoulder. If you're here and you can take the um, fingertips a little further down um, or a little higher up to support yourself, go ahead and do that. Wide collarbones rolling that left shoulder back. And here we are, triangle pose. And you can go to whatever depth feels comfortable for you. And again, that front knee option to bend it. No right and wrong here. Deciding for yourself. Option to draw the chin in when um, taking the skull back somewhat. And we're here for a few breaths. Last option is to take that left arm overhead. So we've got that length through the side of the body. Steady breath. And then we're going to open up that left arm and allow that to draw us all the way up. Hands to hips. Nicely done. Right toes turn in. Left toes turn out. And you might need to adjust your stance here in some way. And then take a look at those right toes and just push the heel out somewhat so we have that internal rotation here so the hips aren't at war with each other. From here, right shoulder rolls back so the heart is towards the long edge of your mat. This is the inhale. On the exhale, we're sending the right hip back, left hip follows, inhaling and exhaling. Noticing how that feels in your body. Option to stay here, great place to be. Next option is to take the hand towards the top of the thigh and maybe it feels better for you to keep that um, front knee a little bent. Inhaling and exhaling and then we're staying. Root down through both feet and notice if you need to adjust anything. Right shoulder rolls down and back. Excellent place to stay here with that support of the front thigh. Option to take that right arm all the way up to the sky and again we're widening through the collarbones as if there's kind of a wall behind us we could sort of rest on. This doesn't feel comfortable to you then no need to do it. And maybe those fingertips come a little further down or a little higher up to support you. That right shoulder is rolled back. We're wide across the collarbones and the length is through the crown of the head. And the last option here is to take that right arm down and over the right ear. So we've got that extended triangle pose. And again, this can look very different for all of us. Decide for yourself and we're here for a few breaths. Front ribs drawn in. Inhaling and exhaling, rooting through those feet. And then the last breath. That right arm draws us all the way up. Turning those toes in, bending through the knees, and we're just going to hula hoop through those hips and back in the opposite direction. Nice. Heel toe, we jump those feet together. And then we're gathering all those bolsters and blankets and coming down to the floor for some relaxation and restorative. So take your time. So, I have my two bolsters, a couple of blocks, and a blanket. And you may um, need a few more props if you know you like a little more softness underneath you. So for the first setup, I'm going to take those two blocks, or books, or anything you have handy, into a little um, chair here. So I've got a block on a medium height and one on a small height. I'm going to put it towards the top of my mat right there. I'm going to take one of these bolsters and you might have um, a pillow, you might have some rolled beach towels towards each other. Then I'm going to support them here and make sure I do feel um, that I could lie down on that. Then I'm going to take the second bolster over, 
across the mat and that blanket is gonna go right under here. If you have a second blanket or a pillow for behind your head, that's awesome. Firstly, we're gonna come onto that softness. Take that one bolster or rolled blanket or pillow underneath your legs and we're coming to rest all the way down. Head is supportive here. If you have a long torso, snuggle down so you know your head is supportive. Again, a blanket under the pillow is fantastic. Knees wide, soles of the feet together if that feels comfortable, or you can simply take your legs long. Palms towards the ceiling because we have so many nerve endings in our fingertips and the tips of our thumbs to release any um, extra information into the brain. Rolling the shoulders back and down. Now once you're here, simply take a breath in. Exhale that out and take all your awareness into your back body. And notice where your body does not feel supported. And then add little bits of support here, either by adjusting your body or putting an extra blanket here or there, anything that feels comfortable to you. And we're gonna be staying here for a little while. So the bliss is in the details. The more comfort we have in the body, the less distraction we have in the mind. You can always take support under the arms if you want to, especially if the surface you're on is cold. And you can always do this in your bed. We'll take a big breath in. Exhale it out, releasing our bones down to that support underneath us. Inhaling and exhaling. And then soft gaze or closed eyes. You can always use an eye pillow. You can always take as many blankets over the top as you, as you like. We'll be staying here for a little while. Always knowing you can adjust or take another shape if that is preferable. Now I want you to come back to the count of breath. Just simply count your inhales, how long it takes to get from the bottom to the top and count your exhales from the top all the way down to the bottom. And whatever count you have, and all of our counts of breath is different, so there's no right and wrong here, I want you to add an extra count to that exhale if that feels comfortable. So if your inhale is three and your exhale is five, then your inhale will stay the same, but the exhale will now be six. Allow that exhale to be as steady and as smooth as you can make it all the way down to the last bit of breath. In fact, you can stop counting your inhale entirely and simply focus on the count of the exhale. And with every exhale, imagine you could allow your bones to release even further down into that support. Notice your body sinking deeper and deeper down. as you simply count your exhales all the way down to the bottom of the breath, keeping that breath steady and smooth. Inhale, simply takes care of itself. And you can stay here with this extra count on the exhale or add one more count to that exhale. So if your exhale was four, it'll now be five and so on.
you might even notice the wave of your breath as it moves your body as the breath from the top of the exhale all the way down to the bottom. Noticing your chest, maybe your ribs, maybe even your belly lifting with the inhale and that slow, steady exhale as the breath releases. And you can always stay here a little longer. Or when you're ready, just let the breath come back to its natural rhythm. And turn over next to your hips. Chin in towards your chest drawing the knees up towards each other. And when you're ready, pushing your hands into the floor to bring you up to seated. I'm gonna take the knees over towards one side. Right hip resting against the bolster. And if you need softness, take that blanket underneath. Option to take that second bolster or a folded pillow or blanket in between your knees and ankles. Hands either side of that bolster and we're coming all the way down. Once again, head is supported. And if you need to make any adjustments for yourself for it to feel more comfortable, then you can go ahead and do that at any time. Palms, once again, face up. Stagger your knees. Option to lengthen the back leg. And if the back shoulder, I'm just going to turn around here so you can see if the back shoulder feels a little jammed up there, you can send that palm down by your hip to roll that bottom shoulder down. So from here, wherever you are, take a big breath in, exhale it out slow and soft. Once again, notice all the places that your body is supported. And if there's any little adjustments you need to make, big or small, go ahead and do that now. Once you're comfortable, I invite you to take your awareness into the back of your ribs. Into the back of your ribs, both ribs, and imagine that you could breathe into the back of the ribs. So there would be a wave of breath in the back body, the inhale, lifting and separating the back ribs towards the sky. And exhale, there's a soft letting go. Option to focus on that exhale, allowing that to be as long and as soft as feels comfortable while your awareness is in the back ribs. Inhaling, the back ribs fill. Exhaling, the letting go, the softening. And that exhale is that opportunity to sink deeper into the support underneath you.
Allow your thoughts to get lazy. Maybe even witnessing the thoughts as they come and go. And keeping part of your awareness on the wave of breath coming and going in and out. And if this feels comfortable for you, there is no need to come to the other side. However, if you would like to, palms turned down, underneath the shoulders, draw the chin in towards the chest, and then we're pushing ourselves all the way up. Taking the hands to either side of your hips, knees, We'll come to center and then we'll take ourselves all the way to the other side. Hands either side of the bolster, softness under the hip if that's comfortable for you. And we're coming all the way down on the other side. You can take the knees on top of each other, you can slide that top knee long. Notice how your body feels here and make any small adjustments. That back shoulder can come back and down as you take the hand towards your pelvis if that feels easier. Inhaling and exhaling. Once again, focusing on the exhale. Allowing your body to sink into the support underneath you. Awareness to the back of the ribs. Inhale, they fill and lift towards the sky. Exhale, the softening and the letting go. Focusing on the breath, but watching the thoughts as they ebb and flow, come and go. to stay here if this feels comfortable. Or we take the palms back underneath the shoulders, chin in towards your chest, and you're pushing yourself all the way up. From here, option to come into regular relaxation down on your back, support maybe underneath your knees or your legs or lying down on a reclined chair or your bed. Or the option is here, taking a blanket, keeping that support here, and taking the ankles up on top of that support. I'm going to take a blanket bind by taking a blanket or a towel over those legs and binding the legs by tucking the blanket in underneath the shins. 
And you're welcome to take this blanket all the way over your legs. I'm just showing you this with my feet out so you know what's happening. And if the blanket is underneath or, or on top of all your legs, you can tuck it in to keep nice and cozy. And again, over your feet. Pillow underneath your head if that's comfortable for you or we're coming all the way down. And once you're down here making any adjustments that feel comfortable, and the bind of the blanket should allow you to have your um, legs supported by the blanket and whatever is underneath it. From here, taking your relaxation. So, big breath in, exhaling it out, noticing the next few breaths if there's any little adjustments you need maybe a little more softness underneath your lower back underneath your head maybe a blanket over the top of you an eye pillow and if this is not comfortable for you then adjust into a relaxation of your choice from here Taking a big breath in, exhaling it all the way out, long and slow. Big breath in, three more of those, or hold right at the top. Relax any tension, and take another sip of breath in, holding once again at the top. Relax any tension, last breath in, hold, Exhale it all the way out. And with that exhale, we let go of as much tension as we can find. As if your body could melt like butter in the sunshine. And imagine here that you have warm sun above you and it is the perfect temperature for you and we're feeling those sunshine rays on your face only as much as feels perfect for you and when it feels like this golden light above you relaxing and softening as it absorbs into your skin and muscles. And joints and soft tissues. Organs and bones. Tuning your thoughts out like a radio in the next room. And you can kind of hear they're there, but you don't need to pay attention to them. Feeling that support underneath you. Starting to take more mindful breaths in and out. With those mindful breaths, Drawing in some soft movements to your toes and ankles and your hands and wrists. And if you have that blanket bind, you're just going to bend your knees and release that feet to the floor either side of that support. 
And just windshield wiper those knees a little from side to side. And you can draw your knees in, give yourself a little hug here. Again, in softness, in stillness, in movement. And then when you're ready, coming over to one side, taking a moment there. And in your own time, top hand to the floor as we raise ourselves up. Take your time. We'll find ourselves in a place where we'd like to finish our practice. When you're ready, settling yourself into whatever is support underneath you. Rooting into that support to rise up. Hands to a gesture of closing that makes sense to you. Big breath in. Exhale, chin comes down towards the chest. And just notice how you feel here after all that movement and active relaxation. Active meaning it's intentional to relax. Thank yourself sincerely for your practice today. I thank you for taking the time to join me. Namaste.